Hi, and welcome to the V Wins Double Reads Overview video. After the brass and saxophones, here's the first part of the V Wins family, the Double Reads. As for all of V horns, the V Wins are based on our HAT technology, Harmonic Alignment Technology, a hybrid of sampling and modeling that allows us to accurately reproduce and control the full dynamics of the instruments in real time, from the nuanced sounds of a light breath to full power. V Winds Double Reeds contain seven instruments two oboes, two English horns, two bassoons, and one contrabassoon. We recorded two of the first three to offer some variety of tone and playing style. Before we start explaining how it works, we first wanted to show you how realistic it sounds when played live without any editing or programming. Here's our friend Simon playing all five tracks one after the other. also show you how close they sound to the real instruments and also how versatile the V-Winds are, here are some quick pieces where we switch back and forth between the real performance and what we recreated.
This is how powerful and versatile VWINS is. Unlike fully sample-based libraries, you can actually have it play exactly what you want with all of the nuances, lengths, rises, attacks, etc. All of which are possible and very easy to control by just playing, and can be refined with some MIDI editing. A large part of what makes our model so realistic is that it's based on real samples from a real player, so it contains all of the noises and pitch, timbre, and volume variations of a live musician. And as a result, it just sounds real. Aside from the sound source, all of the techniques like vibrato, transitions, bends, and so on are pure modeling, which allows you to play the instrument in the most expressive way possible without having numerous key switches. Basically, it's like playing a real instrument. You pick a note, you blow some air, and sometimes you add some jaw movement or pressure to add vibrato or bends. Okay, so now let's dive into the instrument itself and its interface. On the front interface, you'll find the main controls. First, the vibrato that can be set to automatic. Automatic depending on time, which you can control with the curve in the preferences. The manual method allows you to mimic the diaphragm movement of a musician and reproduce any vibrato very accurately. Second, the amount of air. And third, the amount of reverberation. Since we have two types of reverbs, a single impulse response based one, as well as the virtual space, you can switch between two knobs for this using the small menu. The first panel is for mixing. We captured each instrument with three microphone positions, which you can see above the sliders. You can mix them however you'd like and apply a three-band EQ. There are two different kinds of reverbs. First, a standard convolution reverb with a wet-dry control, decay, and a few rooms to choose from. And second, the virtual space. The virtual space is basically a room simulation. It allows you to play the instrument in a real room and to pick the microphone position that you prefer. It's also based on convolution, but it's really exactly what happens in that particular room at that particular seat and using that particular microphone position. So it contains everything, the real reverberation, the phase, directivity, and the EQ created by that room at that point in space to the corresponding microphone position. This new version is a bit different from the one in V-Horns, there are now many more positions. In fact, all the standard positions where a musician can be in a real symphonic orchestra, plus a few ones directly in front of the conductor in case you prefer a more centered sound. Here, you can virtually place the instrument wherever you want by clicking on each seat. This allows you to recreate ensembles and place each instrument wherever you like in true position. On top of that, you can select the type of microphone pair that you want to use. ORTF, AB, XY, or AB wide. You can control the reverberation duration as well as how wide you want the scene to be. Here's an example of one of our demos with simple close mics.
and using the virtual space. The Preferences tab allows you to take in-depth control of many more technical details, all of which is explained in detail on the web page. This panel is very similar to the one in VHorns, but we added a few very important features. Here are the main ones. You can control the pitch aspects. A musician rarely plays notes perfectly in pitch from start to end, so there's often a pitch rise or fall, and some imprecision. And with VWinds, you can control all of that. The advanced pitch allows for very natural note bends, up to three semitones. Disabling it will lower the CPU usage. We also added a micro-tuning panel in case you want to use non-traditional scales. The attacks and legatos on wind instruments are very characteristic and can also be played in very different ways. With or without flutter, with a glide, with more or less attack, and you can control and decide how to trigger them from the preferences. The volume panel allows you to adjust the volume of each note separately. If, for example, you want the lows to sound louder, then you can just draw a curve. Deformant control is a very advanced tool that allows you to completely change the timbre of the instruments you can adjust the volume of each harmonic on the instrument's spectrum. For example, if you lower every even harmonic and boost the odd ones, you can make the oboe sound like a clarinet.
You can customize the vibrato, its speed, and how much pitch and volume modulation you want. We also introduced a vibrato with air feature that allows you to create a pitch vibrato with just the air control. You can control the response of the instrument to MIDI input with the air curve. We've added support for different wind controllers, like the UI and the Aerophone, as well as basic keyboards so that they play legato properly, for example. There are still a few key switches for special features like key noises, breath sounds, and repeated notes. Most of these features are very important to make a performance realistic, but they're not fixed. For example, a musician will never have the same pitch curve attack twice. So we added a randomized feature that will pick a different value between the minimum and the value that you set each time a new note is played. With these instruments, whether you use a wind controller or a keyboard, you can play entirely convincing lines or solos, create sections, and even have sheet music MIDI exports play something still more convincing. Again, just like for our brass and saxophones, we are confident in saying that to our ears and hopefully yours too, VWIN's Double Reads is the most realistic solo Double Reads VST available today. If you're more into trumpets, trombones, or saxophones, don't forget to check out our VHorns brass section and VHorns saxophones. Okay, that's all for this video. You can get VWIN's double reads from acoustic samples.net. Thanks for watching.